Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, in one of our past videos here, I said clear that if Kenya Kwanza are going to continuously have the division that they are having as of now in Kiambu County, then the possibilities of allowing a chance for a weak candidate to win the Kiambu governorial seat is there. The truth of the matter is that Kenya Kwanza had two strong candidates. And if you look at the Azimio candidate who happened to be Governor James Nyoro, James Nyoro is a weak candidate. But with the kind of division they are having, possibility of James Nyoro passing through is there. And today, the opinion poll from Kiambu County is out. And the emerging information is that even William Ruto candidate is not topping on that list. Mizani Africa polls is showing that William Kabogo is leading with 35% to Jibebe wa Kenya, yon do chamayaki. And William Ruto's candidate, Kimani wa Matangi, is number two with 23.6%. Then, the Jubilee candidate, James Nyoro, the current governor, with 18.5%. So, former governor William Kabogo is the most preferred candidate if election were held today with popularity ranking of 35.1% Midan Africa polls and that the result this polls was conducted in June 24th 2022 <laughs> that the time they were doing this now there is something here through this opinion poll, if really it is scientific and it was done in good faith, then this poll is exposing William Samai Ruto having the current situation in Mount Kenya, Kiambu County, on the existing division among these three people, Kabogo, Moses Kuria, and Kimani Matai. And I want to explain to you how Ruto might lose the Kiambu. Remember, Kiambu County is very key after Nairobi. They play a critical role when it comes to voting because of their good numbers there. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request here. You might be watching, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing at another time once you release a video on this channel. You will always get notified. And again, just to, remind, to remember the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming again. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Now, back to our discussion. Now, with the kind of influence Ruto has enjoyed in Mount Kenya region, remember Ruto started campaigning in Mount Kenya all the way from 2017. 2018, he has been doing that. And even he went to an extent of making sure that William Kabogo has been locked out from Kiambure so that he will plant his candidate and it will be easy for him to control Kiambu and all those other areas within the Mount Kenya region. So if you put those visits under the input route I was putting in Mount Kenya region, Many would have expected that definitely UDA candidates should be leading in this race. But the Mizani results put Kabogo ahead with a huge margin to the UDA candidate, Kimani Wamatangi. So this already exposed that the influence Ruto thought has in Mount Kenya, it could not be there. Because if he has huge influence and then putting it in mind clear that 
Ruto has had so many trips to Mount Kenya compared to Raila Odinga. Very many trips. Every time Raila makes to Mount Kenya, Ruto will quickly go there. Just to make sure that he is going to all those areas that Raila Odinga has gone through to counter Raila Odinga. So he has never even given Raila Odinga a chance in Mount Kenya region. But still, this opinion poll is showing that someone else is leading in this campaign and not Ruto's candidate. Now, to show you that Ruto might have a bigger problem in Mount Kenya, Kabogo is now not in terms with the Momatangi and the Rigadi Gashagu. There is that infight. Then the Moses Square was trying to play Kabogo by engineering there, getting out of Kenya Kwanza, then in a few minutes, Moses Kuria made a U-turn. Then Kabogo was remaining stranded. Now, imagine the most popular candidate is not in your camp. Where do you expect those people who are going to vote for him to go if you are not losing? It means you cannot ignore the influence Kabogo has in Kiambu County. So where do you expect those people who are going to vote for Kabogo to vote for? Putting it in mind that Kabogo is facing frustrations inside Kenya Kwanza. The UDA candidate has been fighting Kabogo. William Samaruto's running mate, Rigathe Gashagwa, has been openly fighting Kabogo. But still Kabogo command number. So tell me. If Kabogo supporters have been seeing the mistreatment he has been going through in the hands of Rigathe Gashagwa, where do you expect these people to vote? If they are not listening to Ruto to vote for Kimani Matangi, they are voting for Kabogo. So where do you expect them to drop their presidential vote? Raila, Amolo, Odinga. And there is a number of reasons why Kabogo could be leading the other time when he was in an interview, he made it clear that for him, he is looking to become the governor of Kiambu. And even in some of the rallies, he was open. Vote for whomever you want to be your president, but please give me the governor vote. That means Kabogo has no problem with Raila becoming the president. He said, if you want to vote for Raila, please vote for him. Again, he has no problem for those who want to vote for William Ruto. He said, vote for Ruto if you want, but I just want to become your governor. Even he has gone further to say that those who are willing to vote for Wajakoya, please vote for Professor Wajakoya, but give me the governor vote. So because of the mistreatment, now Kaboga has decided, I have no problem with anyone as long as I'm fighting for my seat. So he's going to focus on his governor's seat, but not to campaign for William Ruto like before he has been campaigning for Ruto. So you see, for him is focus, and he know what he wants. And because of that, maybe that's why Kabogo is feeling that it is better to be out of Kenya Kwanza, so that now he will shed off the baggage of carrying Ruto or Raila or Wajakoya. So that it will be him now benefiting across these people. Because now you want to play a friendly game. Whereby you don't have a problem with Raila, Ruto, Wajakoya, or Atawahiga. So that's a friendly game you want to play here. And this could be one of the reasons why Kabogo is leading. If you take careful, Kabogo has never been attacking Raila Odinga whichever he gets a microphone to speak. He is a very sober person. I have never heard him attacking Raila Odinga. But he has been supporting William Ruto. <laughs> and so, to some extent, even Kiambu County is cosmopolitan. That means there are other people who are not necessarily Kikuyus, but they have 
somewhere to drop their vote. This could be some of the people Kabogo has been looking to, to vote for him. And because of that, having a balanced mind going into the campaign, then that could be just another possibility of Kabogo leading. <laughs> Ruto has used a lot of his time to abuse President Uru Kenyatta, including some of his close allies. When they get to Kiambu, they have been throwing the babs to the president and his family. They have been attacking him directly. Maybe this could be some of the reasons why people are shying away from supporting Ruto candidate. Because they have been at forefront attacking the president. And the Kiambu is the home county for President Uhuru Kenyatta. Kabogo has not been attacking the president. He did not. He did not. So because of that, people are feeling that it is better they vote for someone whom they believe he is going to work for them and not because of the abuse these people have been directing to the president. So people of Kiambu are angry with William Ruto. That's why his candidate is not winning. And Ruto has this perception that he is going to carry all the seats in Mount Kenya. In fact, he is putting himself at 70 to 80 percent of getting all those elective seats in Mount Kenya. But if this result is something to go with, then Ruto should be worried. Even getting 50 percent of Mount Kenya will be another trouble. The big problem Ruto doesn't understand in Mount Kenya or what he has decided to give a blind ear is that most of the people in Mount Kenya region will always vote out the person who is in that position. If you are a sitting member of parliament, a governor, a senator, these people have a reputation of voting people out. And that could be also some of the reason why James Nyoro might not, that, might not be that popular. So because they want to vote someone out and root on many of the candidates he has in Mount Kenya, they are sitting members of parliament. These are the people who are seeking for re-election seats. So you should ex expect about 20 to 30 percent of those people who are seeking re-election, those who are defending their seats, to go home. And if that is going to happen, then the biggest loser in Mount Kenya region, in my view, is going to be William Samuel Ruto in terms of elective seats. So this is a warning to Ruto. If he thought he has the Mount Kenya region, then he should have a second thought. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.